Take a sheet of A4 paper, cut a long strip about one and a half centimetres wide. Okay, so you fold it roughly in the middle, so it's in that right angle. Yep, fold underneath. Okay, fold to the top. Right, try not to make it too tight. So you so you're making a, a little square. Then bend this one over. Okay. Now turn that towards you. Okay. Now you look for the little hole in there. Right. Don't put it all the way through. Put it all the way through. Sorry. You've got your knot. Okay, so if you turn it over again, and do that, and you put that one through that hook there. So you part way through. Yeah, go a bit more. You can equal that different tail off again. Feed that back into there. Okay, and then you've got this bit. This should go through there. And there you have your cross. You just equal them out a bit, push one in. Let us pray for the church and for the world, and let us thank God for his goodness. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we bless you for creating us, giving us life, and for all the many good things you give us while we are alive. In this time of fear of getting coronavirus, it's easy for us to lose our focus, to moan instead of thank, and to worry instead of trust. So remind us of your goodness, and help us to reach out to you for your help in our needs today, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today we remember your son entering his city, and the city frightens us now because that's where infection can be passed on. Thank you God that you were not afraid to come to earth in the person of Jesus Christ, and risk everything to live and work among us, and eventually to give up your human life so we could survive in your presence. You thought that people were more important than your sanctity. We thank you for people like that today, especially those in healthcare who serve others at risk to themselves. Help us too to think about how we can be a real help to someone else today through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we remember how unreliable the crowds were in Jesus' day, how they welcomed him as he entered into Jerusalem but a few days later they turned on him and shouted for his death. Help us not to be like that. Having given ourselves to you by faith in Jesus, help us continue your faithful soldiers and servants to the ends of our lives, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God of plenty, this virus will turn our world upside down. It seems likely that some who had secure jobs will lose them, some who were surviving will go to the wall, and some who ran small businesses will go under. Help us to care, individually in looking after each other, and collectively as a society, by getting money to those whose incomes are slashed. Grant that government grants will get to those who need them, and not be siphoned off by banks and bureaucracy. And grant that those who apply for universal credit may not be left destitute by delays. Show us all how to pull together through this crisis, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear God, please help all people in 
in our local community who are sick and on their own without families or friends. Please help us to fight this virus so we can get back our normal lives. Amen. We pray for those who are sick or suffering, especially at St Luke's Eccleshill, those among our own community for whom we have been praying uh, for several weeks. We recall that Jesus healed many people and we lift these people to you for healing now, even though we can't mention their names on video. And we recall those who have lost loved ones, uh, especially the families of two men former members of our congregation. We ask you to comfort those who mourn. We ask that churches like ours would know how to support people in their loss and that their memorial services would in due course be honouring to their memories and to honouring to you their God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus, as we cannot get to church to praise you this week, Help us nevertheless to find ways of remembering you in your passion and suffering. Speak to us in our homes and give us a fresh sense of your presence in our lives. Be with us, Lord, in all our prayers and direct our ways to your salvation that among the changes and chances of this fleeting world we may always find your unfailing help. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
before we finish today, let us say a closing prayer and we'll finish with the grace. We say together, Lord Jesus Christ, you put your life into our hands, now we put our lives into yours. Take us, renew us and make us. What we have been is past. What we shall be through you still awaits us. Lead us on. Take us with you. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen.